Okay. Again, good evening. Good lahat. Okay. Good evening to all of you guys. Today is very special day because we have a very special person with us. Um, I will introduce to you a friend of mine. Long time, a friend of mine is in in, in Dubai. Uh, he's not just a friend. He's not only a trainer. He's a motivational speaker, financial planner at the same time. I think, and he's a uh, a book author and one of the most influential uh, person for Filipinos here in UAE. The, the face of day-to-day, -day, <laughs> Mr. Rico, <laughs> Mr. Rico, or uh, they call him Mick Master Rick. Ayan, Kuya Rico, take it away. Good evening. Yes. Um, una, I'd like to thank Lynn for inviting me tonight and sharing with you some insights just to make sure that we will be on the right track, especially, that, especially if you are above 40 now, Time is running short, so we need to exert more effort for us to realize our dreams. So I'd like to find out, how many viewers do we have, Lynn? As for now, we're not that much, 16, but after this Kuya Rico... Oh, that, that's good already. So I'd like to welcome the we, 16 viewers. Yeah. And we have and, um, from Africa. I'd like to greet Uganda. to you all and welcome to our get-together, the virtual get-together. Mm -hmm. I always... Uh, would like to stress that uh, during evening we are all tired so let's pretend that we are still uh, at seven o'clock in the morning so we are more excited and we are we have more energy so i'd like to greet all of you a very pleasant good morning okay so i cannot hear all of you because you're on mute but uh, i just would like to thank you for sharing us your time. Ano ba ito? Taglis or English straight, Lynn? It's English because we have the uh, non-kabayan. Oh, we have non-kabayan. So that means I have to speak in English. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to my session. Um, I, I actually call it an NDO just to change your mindset because I know that some of us, especially if we are new in the business, we have a lot of hesitation. So Welcome. It's time to unleash your full potential and uh, explore the beauty of network marketing. So why are we here tonight? Uh, I'm sure you have your own purpose. It's uh, seven o'clock in the evening and I know some of you are on your dinner time, yet you are sacrificing your time just to make sure that uh, we will be sharing inputs together, not only me, but I'd like to um, hear from you as well later on. So let's answer this uh, question of the hour. Why do you go to work? Any field of human endeavor, safety officer, nurse, waiter, bartender, phone operator, model, uh, even if you are a lifeguard, why are we working? I know we have our own reason. So I'd like to share with you based on survey, the main reason why we are working is we want to break out from the area of discomfort in our lives. We want to live a better life for our, not only our own, but uh, for the betterment of the lives of our family. So these are the areas of discomfort that we used to experience before especially when we were still young and now that we are adults already, we want to change the course of life that we have. So let's compare. For those who are not uh, financially gifted, we call it, there are only two types of people in this world. Whether you like it or not, poor or rich. So let's show the food eaten by poor people. You can see that, right? There's a big difference. You can also see the place where we sleep. If you're poor, probably you experience uh, sleeping with this way, way back and compare it to the bed of those uh, with financial freedom. So you can tell the difference, right? And uh, I, I think there's something wrong with my 
my my laptop okay so let's check so there's really a big difference between our lives even with kids when you are sending your kids to school some of them may walk because we don't have the luxury of giving them uh, money uh, considering that not are all are gifted with big salaries so for the rich probably they have their own uh, aside from having their own service they can afford to pay a bus that would take their kids so they don't have to be bothered uh, sending their kids to school now for those who are not uh, gifted with the money to take the, the plane then we have to settle for a mode of transportation which is by ship if you are traveling to the other islands in your country so if you are sick god forbid but uh, this is the reality a bit of reality if we don't have money we can stay on in the ward right but if you are hospitalized and you have money you can stay in the private room so that is the big difference now the final destination, if you will die, if you don't have money, chances are this, the left side will be the final resting place. But the, if you have money, now let's talk about financial freedom. What is the difference between a person with financial freedom and those without a financial freedom? I'd like to cite a good example. When you enter a restaurant, and if you don't have financial freedom, that means the money in your wallet is a little limited a little bit. So you would normally look at the right side of the menu, which is the price. But if you have financial freedom, no way. You don't have to look at the, the right side of the menu. You don't have to look at the price. You are after the, the name of the menu that you would like to order. So there is a big difference between an employee and an employer right uh being a worker and a boss and uh, sometimes if you can still recall there are two ways of raising kids if you can still remember some of us are being raised uh, son study hard so that when you graduate you can learn a job while others especially the chinese that are in the philippines they are raised in a different way like son you study hard so that when you graduate you can put up a business you can establish a business of your own so there are two ways of raising your kids so let's uh settle this issue let's find out why are we here if you are not in your own country if you are here in dubai or other places aside from the philippines you might uh, ask uh, or probably answer this question why are we here let's tackle this we have uh, a common denominator we want to achieve financial freedom, right? We want to realize our dreams. Now, what are the common dreams that we have? You want to build a better house for your family. You want to send your kids to better school. You want to establish your own business. You want to travel to beautiful places. And you want to prepare for your retirement. And, of course, pay it forward. You want to help other people. And you want to have time, freedom without that somebody asking you hey report for work nine to five because you are my employee you don't want that to happen all your life so according to the survey there are four types of people in this world one is an employee so if you are working from nine to five if you are working for a boss and if your salary is based on the time you work you are an employee the other one is self-employed like the doctors and um, some of the engineers, the architects, and uh, the dentists. Uh, nobody, nobody's telling them, oh, hey, hey, report for work, because that's their own business. But the problem is, if they don't have a customer, then it's hard, it's hard for them to survive. While the businessman, the businessman has people working for him. So let's illustrate this. So that you can see the difference now for the first quadrant the employee you have a job that means your salary is being measured by the effort that you exerted while on the self-employed like the dentist that i mentioned earlier you own the job but you still need customers right so without customers it's hard for you to survive well if you are a business owner 
you own a system and people work for you. Like, for example, the, the owner of SM. Now, investor, on the other hand, if you have money, you can invest it in, in different ways. Money works for you. Like the, the rich uh, property developers in our country. That's one example. So let's enumerate the expenses that we have. Let's take, for example, you are staying here in the United Arab Emirates. Let's find out your expenses. Salary. Uh, let's pretend that your salary is 3000 I know many are still struggling considering the, the impact of the lockout that we are presently facing. So let's just put there 3000 dirhams. Now, you have a monthly expenses. Bed space is 700 allotment. Considering that uh, you always prioritize your family, so 1,000 supplies, 50 metro, 300 dirhams, phone load, uh, 100 only because you're a, a wise guy. You just miss call and you let the, the other party call you. Food budget, 350 personal effect, 100, a total of two six on a monthly basis. Now, if we have a salary of 3,000 dirhams minus the expenses, that means that you will only have 400 left without even um, an amount for savings and for emergency fund, which is um, a sad scenario. So let's take, for example, let's calculate 400 times 12 months. That means in one year, you only have 4,800 money we, you set aside. And that means that in one year, it's 62,333 if we convert it. Now, what about our dreams? Okay, these are the deep why, the dreams, the reason why we are here working in a foreign country. So let's put price on our dreams. Like for example, if your house is 1.5 million, car 500,000, education 300,000, business 500,000, travel 150,000, savings 300,000, a total of 3,250,000 for the dreams that I enumerated earlier. So let's divide that into. Your dreams, you need 52 years. What if you are 40? What if you are 45? What if you are part of the SK bracket? No, Sobra 40 or ES category, endangered species, especially. 50 and above, then you need to work double time for you to realize your dreams. Now, these are the reasons. This is the better reality. Some of us, our expenses, especially if you don't know how to budget the monthly salary that we have, you will be living paycheck to paycheck. And we need to overcome that problem. Now, what are the reasons why we fail to save? Lifestyle chains. One, uh, I hope you don't uh, feel bad if uh, you are actually think that I am uh, trying to address this to you. Now, remember when we arrived, Nokia mobile phone is okay. But now you want to have an iPhone, not ordinary iPhone, but iPhone 12. When you arrive here, you used to drink San Miguel or Red Horse, but now not anymore. You want to drink Jack Daniel for the mail. Ordinary Rado watch is okay, but now you want G-Shock. Probably in the Philippines, girls, I'm sorry to remind you, but I know many are using so N before when you were still in the Philippines, but now that you are in a foreign country, not anymore. Victoria's Secret. In the Philippines, boys, you still remember when you want to play basketball, Robertson shoes is okay. But now that you are in a foreign country, not all, but many change their lifestyle. You want to wear Under Armour or Nike. When we first arrived here, it's okay. Three in one coffee. But when you are being influenced with the environment, you want to converse with your friend. You want to talk to your friends inside your favorite coffee shop. You still remember the time when you were new here? When you attend parties, an ordinary bag will do, but not anymore. See, you want to carry LV just to have that sense of belongingness because your friends are carrying one. Before, any pants or jeans will do, 
But now you want to have a branded pants. So lifestyle trains. These are the reasons why we are broke. Phone mania, as I said, I mentioned earlier, it's better to have e phone than iPhone. Latin mania, brand mania. We are guilty of this over sending to our family to the extent that we don't have even enough money for ourselves because we are sending it to our family. Um, overspending. A lot of examples. Jitex, who are there? People are lining up to buy the latest gadget. In my own way, I describe uh, girls don't feel bad about it, but not all, as I said, not all are guilty. Many ladies are guilty of condom. You know, condom. Uh, it's, it's not actually the one that you're thinking. This is an acronym. Credit overload normally dedicated on makeover. So you, you spend uh, more and more with regards to buying things that just to beautify and improve your look. While boys, on the other hand, are guilty with pills. This is an acronym as well. Um, pleasure in lots of love and spending. So that's a, a good uh, acronym to describe the lifestyle change that we have. And aside from that, I'd like to stress that one of the culprit that we are, the main reason why we are financially struggling is the thing we call instant gratification. Every time there are new models, you want to reward yourself that I want to buy the latest gadget. Um, this is your own way. Oh, you, you would think that the, the, the proper way of describing that is that the victim mindset. You would think that, oh, I'm far from my family. I, I live alone. Nobody's taking care of me. So I reward myself with whatever things that I love. So you want to buy it, not when you have money after you save, but you want to buy it right away. So you would purchase that the moment that you feel like you want to buy. We need to practice delayed gratification. Buy the things that you need when you have enough resources, not because you love to buy it. And many are guilty of that. Now, this is the result of the employment mindset, especially if you live a life by default. There are two ways of living life. Let's face the reality. There are two ways living a life by design and living a life by default. We still remember the time when uh, you built a house, you hired an architect, a contractor. In fact, you are checking on a daily basis just to make sure that the design, the blueprint of the house are being followed by the contractor and the architect. But in our lives, do we have a plan? Unfortunately, not many. We don't plan. We live a life by default. Now, what is a sample of a life by default? You wake up in the morning. But waking up in the morning, you hold your mobile phone, check your social media account, take a morning shower, take breakfast, travel to work, work, and even in, in the office hours, you still manage to update your social media platform. And when you go home, same thing. Uh, prepare dinner, eat, watch your favorite uh, teleserie, tele movie, or play games like Mobile Legend. So if you don't have plans, it's always like that for the rest of your life. Go with the flow. You're not living a life by design. Because if you're living a life by design, you are calculating every step that you make. Like, for example, if this is where you want, you are now and this is where you want to be, make sure that the things that you do on a daily basis will lead you to where you want to be. I'd like to share with you Stephen Covey's habit to begin with the end in mind. How do you see yourself five years from now, 10 years from now? If you want to achieve financial freedom after five years, you have to control your spending. 
if your income is not sufficient or enough, it's not enough, then look for another stream of income. Have a self-mastery, or we call it introspection. What are the things that we need to do for us to, to reach the destination that we want to have in five years' time? Now, the problem with us is instead of looking for ways in order to achieve our dreams, we reduce our dreams. So we undergo into the process of dreams reduction program or DRP. So we reduce the size of the house that we dream, that the business, the car, even the whole, the whole plans that we had. Instead of looking for other resources, we reduce our dreams, which is not a good thing. Now, we need to have a transformation. The solution is we need to be an employer, not only an employee, not only an OFW for life, overwork, financially weak. We need to be an entrepreneur. That should be the end in mind that we need to plan. Be your own boss. Now, let me ask you, this is a bit of reality. A choice between being an employee or a boss. Who is holding a better mobile model? It's the boss. Who's driving a better car or an expensive car? It's the boss. Who has more money? Boss, right? Better house, boss. That means we need to be a boss for us to transform our lives. That is, should be, I mean, that should be the, the, the end in mind that we need to have. Now, the solution. There are only two ways to be a boss. First, the other option would be multi-level marketing, networking, direct selling, whatever you call it. And the other one is the traditional business, like restaurants, stores, pharmacy. Now, let's uh, check the difference. When you are engaged in a traditional business, you need to have a business license, a trade license. You need to rent an office. You need to provide visa for your staff, pay salary, um, buy inventory, and of course, spend advertising because you want to reach out to your target market. While if you will settle for network marketing, it's an easy thing. You don't have to advertise because you will rely on word of mouth advertising. So let's uh, dig deeper on the benefits of network marketing, low investment. Let's take, for example, Crowd1. You will only invest 480 dirhams or 6,000 pesos. I don't know the, the exact exchange rate now. You can do it part-time. We, we are not actually advising you to resign at this early stage. But if you are making money already, you focus on it and you will reap the benefits. Third, unlimited income potential, depending on your effort. Once you will do the business seriously, you will become millionaires. If you saw the video that I made you can see there the, the photos of those who made millions by working this business. Residual income. Even if you sleep, you will still earn. Expand your network of friends because you will be sharing the opportunity to more people other than your friends. This is the common misconception. We don't have to rely on the peers that we have the family or the common friends that we have. It, it's a sad scenario, but if, if you really wanna see the big picture, our friends and associates, they're just 10% of being your target market in this business. 90% are the people that you don't know. So you need to exploit that 90%. 
Third, I mean, uh, next, help other people. When you share the opportunity, you are helping other people. Reward you with financial freedom. And you can be your own boss. If you have the resources already, if you are making money already, you can resign and be your own boss. Now, they said, if you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. But if you're determined to learn, no one can stop you. You still remember the number of years that we devoted just to finish our course? Let's calculate. We spent six years during elementary years. Six years, no. Uh, the, the old uh, curriculum, high school is four years, college is four years. That means a total of 16 years. Your parents invested money while you invested time and effort. And when you graduate, it's a sad reality. You will only receive 10,000, 15,000 salary. The question is, is it worth it? Do you want to change that course of life? Do you want to be a millionaire? Not only by reporting from nine to five. There are only five subjects that you need to learn. Learn it by heart and master it. If we list down all the, the subjects that we learn in the 16 years of studying more than 100 subjects. But here in multi-level marketing, you will only study the five subjects, company profile, product knowledge, compensation plan, prospecting, and handling rejection. So only five subjects that you need to master. Who can join MLM? Unlike in, in the corporate setting, you need to have an impressive CV for you to land a job, right? But in network marketing, no need for CVs. Throw away the CV, put it inside a trash can because any person with a big dream can join multi-level marketing. Any person who wants to start a business can join multi-level marketing. Any person who wants to invest a minimal investment with big income potential, he can join. Any person who wants to help other people, any person with a lot of free time, anybody can join network marketing. In the field of network marketing, I have to remind you, it's your environment that would influence you. And in network marketing, when you mingle with other people, chances are you will be inflected with their attitude as well. So I'd like to just uh, remind you, avoid these personalities, haters. What is haters? It's an acronym. All the, the words that I actually flash on the screen are acronyms. Haters. Having anger towards everyone reaching success. That's one. There are people like that. People who, who you think you're friends, but when you are out, you are beyond the rich already, they will talk bad about you, especially if you are successful. Ikea. I know everything already. People who believe that they are already gifted with the knowledge that they need. When you invite friends, uh, I know you can relate. When you invite friends, they would reason out a lot of alibis and doing something. So they are inflected with AIDS as if doing something. So you don't have to waste your time convincing this type of people to share with you their time just to, to be part of the opportunity. No way. Next is poor. You still remember the time that you invited your close friend, 
your peers, you it told them about the advantage, the benefits, but they just ignore. And that is the reason why they are poor and don't spend time with them. Poor, passing over opportunities repeatedly. Next is beach. Bitter individual that cackles hardship. They love to complain that life is hard, but are they doing something to change their life? They are dwelling in their comfort zone. Now, for you to succeed in multi-level marketing, you need to face the following fears. Fear of rejection. It doesn't mean that people will reject you. They don't like the business. There are things that you need to explain to them better. When you are being rejected the first time, just smile. Okay. When you are rejected the 10th time, just smile. I'd like to share with you some personalities. They succeeded. They failed. But they don't give up. Their spirit of not giving up took them to where they want to be. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll cite on one example. Colonel Sanders of KFC was rejected by 1,009 restaurant owners until finally one believed in the concept. J.K. Rowling, the author of Harry Potter, was rejected by 12 major publishers. Another good example is the inventor, Thomas Edison. He failed 10,000 times before he perfected the electric bulb. The author of Chicken Soul for the Soul, you know the author, he was rejected by publishers 144 times and the book is now translated in 30 languages so folks failure consider failure as a fertilizer to success fear of public speaking why fear you fear because you're not practicing at all when i started i don't know how to speak but when practice practice will never make you perfect but there's only one guarantee practice will give you improvement don't you know that the number one fear of the americans is not fear of dogs it's not acrophobia it's not agoraphobia it's not even um dipsophobia or fear of drinking it's the fear of speaking in public they're americans they're fluent as far as the English language is concerned, but they fear speaking in public. That's their number one fear. Fear of success. The main reason why you fear success is because you are not preparing yourselves. Let's take, for example, on your vacant time, instead of watching television shows instead of playing mobile legends why not study soft skills subjects things that you want to know and which you can use when you are successful already fear of the unknown is normal but you will only fear of the unknown if you are not sure of the end result that you have. As I said, according to Stephen Kobe, begin with the end in mind. If you already visualize the end result that you have, then no need to fear of the unknown because you know what you want in life. This is the secret for you to succeed. Good learning attitude will take you to greater heights. Remember, your attitude, not your aptitude, will determine your altitude. And network marketing is a matter of attitude. 
I'd like to share with you this quote. If you are willing to do only what's easy, life will be hard. But if you are willing to do what's hard, life will be easy. Always remember that. Now, you would say, why is it that Lynn Reyes is successful? Why is it that Ginny Torres is successful? Why is it that many people are successful? What separates them from the rest? It's their habits. Those who succeed in network marketing have clear vision of where to go. If you want to be a millionaire in five years' time, you need to know your present, your the scenario that you are in, and you must have a goal in life. You must have a time frame. If you still remember the acronym SMART for specific, measurable, attainable, <laughs> realistic, and time-bounded, we need to have a deadline to avoid, inshallah. God gave you two eyes to see the unlimited potentialities surrounding you. God gave you a pair of hands to grab its opportunity with a sense of urgency. God gave you two legs to network with the right network of friends, two ears to listen to advices of successful people and your mentors, a heart to pay it forward. So take advantage. You are born a champion already. Next is they have the burning desire to start and sustain the excitement till the finish line. I know some of you are guilty <clears throat> when you are being presented with a network opportunity and when you see the check of other people, millions, half millions, you would scream on top of your voice, power, power. And when you see the hardship after six months, that interest subside. Instead of saying power, power you're losing the momentum already another habit that they have is they are committed to help other people if that's what your frame of mind is when you have the intent to help people by sharing the opportunity you will never feel bad in every rejection that you will encounter in fact you will say it's not my loss right they master their skills and willing to learn as i mentioned earlier master the five subjects that's what you need the common mistake is i know some of some of you are guilty but let's change that if you are guilty when you sign in for an opportunity you will just attend one session. You cannot memorize everything. You cannot master everything. You cannot master the five subjects that I mentioned in one attendance. Remember the time, how many days you spent in one subject in the entire school year, but nothing happened. If you will master the five subjects, learn it by heart, you will succeed in network marketing. Next, they grab opportunity with sense of urgency. Don't procrastinate. Because when you procrastinate, there are people who viewed the opportunity better than what you consider. So, Probably for you, this is not the right opportunity, but for other people, this is the best opportunity. And that is the reason why there is a sense of urgency. Always think twice. When an opportunity is being presented to you, say yes. Don't say no. Say no only after the presentation. Don't believe what other negative news 
that are being spread by people. You need to listen and understand the business. They maintain their focus. It's a common mistake of network marketing. You are already engaged in crowd one. And all of a sudden, another friend approach you. Join us. We have a new network marketing company with many ways to earn, with a lot of products. See, because you want financial freedom, you invest it again. And next month, another friend of yours approach, and you join again. Where is your focus? You need to concentrate in one business alone for you to succeed. That is the reason why it's called FOCUS, F-O-U-C-S. I mean, F-O-C-U-S. Follow one course until successful. Next, they treat the business as their own. And that is the reason why they have the burning desire. They're doing everything just to spread the opportunity to more people. They associate with the right people. The environment plays a major role. Remember the personalities that I mentioned earlier? Avoid getting along with these type of people because they are highly influential. Important thing, they practice time management. Can you manage time? If your answer is yes, you're wrong. You cannot manage time. You need to manage yourself in relation to the available time. So we have to make it a habit to practice time management by managing our activities and respecting the time of others as well. Okay? I'm sure you can relate to that. Rejections, it's common in network marketing. One way to handle rejection is just to listen, hear them out, but never argue. Probably you can say that, oh, what a coincidence. That's also my feeling when I started the business, but everything changed when somebody explained to me the opportunity. Never, ever argue with a rejection. These are the common rejections of network marketing. It's a scam. It's pyramiding. The wife won't allow. I'm not a salesperson. I cannot speak in public. No money. Busy person. Bad MLM experience and no MLM knowledge. In a separate uh, presentation, I will deal on this rejection. So, question of the hour, how do we succeed? What are the ingredients for success as far as network marketing is concerned? One, time. I mentioned it already, the importance of time, focus, commitment, and persistence. Meaning, you don't stop until the finish line. If there are blocks, if there are hindrances face it especially the fear according to them fear is just false emotion appearing real face how, how do we face fear face everything and rise that should be the better attitude now how to handle discouragement Let's be positive. Never entertain negative thoughts. Avoid talking to dream stealers, people who will discourage you, people who will tell you, you cannot make it. Apply the SW3 principle. Some will join, some won't. So what's next? Next. No? So what if you won't join? Next. You, you will meet a lot of people 
you will meet a lot of strangers. Strangers, it's better if you talk to people you don't know. Because even your own family will discourage you of not joining the business. So always think positive. How to expand your network? Make a prospect list. Segregate. People who are aggressive to grow. The dreamers. You can see some of your friends probably. People who are hungry financially a lot. People you encounter by accident, especially in the metro. That is the reason why you need to master the five subjects so that when you are in the metro with a prospect, you don't have to call your upline. You can handle the situation yourself. People who envy the success of others. That's one target as well. People who are sickly, they don't have money. Well, share with them the opportunity and they will grab it with a sense of urgency. So don't pretend that sometimes this is the common mistake that we have. Like, let's say, for example, you know, a manager, a rich person, you would think that, oh, they have financial freedom. They don't want to join. Treat everyone equally because these people are also looking for an opportunity to grow more. You need to remember that. Now, why is it that it's not advisable to join more than one MLM company? First reason, it makes you look unsuccessful. Second, it divides your passion and time. Third, you could lose prospects by sending mixed signals and messages. Imagine you are a member of five network marketing companies and in your laptop, you can see five logos. Do you think you would look good? I don't think so. Your downline will do the same to you. Remember that. And you will appear disloyal to your upline. So never spread yourself too thinly. Focus on one company if you want to succeed. I guess that's about it. So I hope we are learning something tonight. Okay. And uh, it's now time to turn over the microphone to upline Lynn Reyes. Okay, thank you, Kuya Rico. That's a very powerful oh, so and really, uh, really amazing ang pag the deliver mo lagi. <laughs> nakaka nakaka relate. We are or uh, relate what he told us, right? Yan. Medyo ano lang. Um, yung iba na, na ano dyan, na, natatamaan. <laughs> okay. So I think uh, all of those, uh, all of these people are here are already members. Okay, so we don't need to do the call, the presentation right now. Okay, I think this is enough for tonight because they cannot absorb everything, Kuya Rico. <laughs> right? <laughs> I think maraming na silang mababa on dyan. Okay, I, I think you learn a lot, right? Do you inspired, guys? Na inspired ba kayo? Can I see any comment? Ayan. Yes, Thank yes. Thank you po. Salamat po. We are inspired. Yeah. yeah. They inspired and then they can use this uh, training to their teams. Or they can relate. Ayan. And then this, this is a guidelines to us team, especially really if you want really to success. Those slides of Kuya Rico are very, really uh, powerful. You, you can use them. And now tonight, at least you learn something. The five subjects team. <laughs> Don't forget your five subjects. <laughs> what are, what are the five subjects? Just for to review. Okay, the company profile, the product knowledge, compensation plan, how to handle rejection, and uh, prospecting. Yeah, these is are the really the five best uh, thing that you really to learn from. Uh, what you're doing now in your business in crowd one okay just master this five and you will be successful and of course sabi nga niya, you need to focus and then there's a commitment persistent and then always there's a the passion of uh, your burning desire
Ayan. And always be patient, okay? Time will come, you will find the right partners in your team. And Okay, uh, I think that's enough for tonight. If you have some question, you can raise now before we end this uh, presentation. Uh, Mercy, you have some um, pa, uh, add on your team. I think these are in your team. Lahat ng nandito. Maliban lang sa ilang taong members na na sa other line ko. Mercy, are you here? Ayan. And congratulations, team, for those who received their withdrawal yesterday and, and, today, and today. We're expecting some more withdrawals from you guys. Okay, just keep on going. And so next time you withdraw, meron pa yung maraming withdrawal and I expect, okay? I'm asking you last night for your withdrawals until now, only few people are uh, submit their names, okay? So every, every month now, company is giving withdrawal. Yes, Tito? Yes. So you have some question? Uh, no, no. No, I'm not. Uh, I don't have anything to ask. Okay. So. I'll contact you privately. Okay, you just message me if you have some question, guys. You can message me directly or you can message uh, to your upline, Mercy Magallanes. Okay. Thank you for okay. attending tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kuya Rico. And see you again. So at, at least Kuya Rico can, can give us a training every week. Right, Kuya Rico? Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Good night, guys. Keep safe. God bless you all. See you again tomorrow. Bye. Thank you, Bye. Ms. Lynn. Bye. 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 Mercy, nag message ako sa yo. Please do ano na lang. Si Jerry, Jerry is from Mer uh, Mayflower. Hello, ayang kami. Magawa kami ng PowerPoint para sa presentations. San kayo? DCT. Kanyan. There is a center. Sa my food central. Ah, okay. Mercy, nadaan ka na lang mamaya sa akin. Okay, ah, ah, ah. Okay.